said, don't do nothing to the doings of the land of Egypt. Because yep. they were doing that in Egypt. They was committing incest. Uh, 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 women were, um, they, they, they were being queens. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Q -U -E -A -N. And in Egypt, they was able to uh, uh, divorce men. They was able to choose men. A lot of shit that you was able to do in Egypt, you could do right here in this Egypt. That's why these niggas want to stay here. Man. That's why they gravitate to that uh, uh, Egyptology, Egyptology shit, uh, 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 Kimmy. You know? Because it comes with a, 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 a line of pleasures, fleshly uh, pleasures. Jake don't want to give that up. You know? Pornography. You know, some of those uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs, it they, yeah. they got depictions of pornography on, on their walls. Yeah. On them Egyptian guess what? Uh, uh, in Rome, they did the same thing. Yeah. So. Bestial, acts of bestiality, man. They don't, you, don't you, you know how they show those uh, like documentaries of Egypt? They don't never show those hier hieroglyphs that you just mentioned. Yeah. Right. They always show just uh, animals. Yeah. 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 Hey, like when them niggas be having those little lectures and debates, and they be trying to go into the, you know, the history of, of the ancestors and all the, the, the comedic science and all that shit. They, they always deviate from those perverted ass mythologies yeah. that those ancient Egyptians were, were, were clearly into. Mm -hmm. The rituals that was behind those myths. Hey, because like, like today, in Hollywood, they, you know, the, the underworld of Hollywood, doing all this sexual magic, they were doing sexual magic back then. Yeah. So they had to praise that image just like they do and the, they call it the occult. The same thing they do now in the, in the, uh, in the entertainment world, the same thing, that same power that they're tapped into back in ancient Egypt. Yeah. yeah, man. So, hey, any other path outside of this is a way to death. You find out to the ways of the other nations, that's death, man. And that's where it went wrong in the garden. Eve was seduced to follow the ways of the wicked. See? So we on the right, we on the right path, man. You know? Give me uh because I mentioned about Leviticus 18, about not doing the doings of um after Egyptians. After Egypt and it, it said Canaan too. Go go there real quick. I, I think it says Canaan. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, what they did in Canaan is also what they did in Egypt too. Yeah. Both Africans. Because Ham, Ham laughed at uh, those uh, naked. Yeah. Exactly. He looked upon those naked. Yeah. And, and he had uh, Sham and Japheth. They, they covered They turned, they turned they around. They yeah. 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 Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, I am the Lord your power. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. Uh -huh. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. So both Egypt and Canaan. Don't do this the shit that you see them do. Alright? A lot of them have they, they a lot of those uh, black conscious clowns, they like to make the claim that our forefathers in the Bible got their knowledge from, from Egypt. Yeah. Or that the Bible plagiarized from certain texts from uh, uh, Egypt. I they recently, like to, go ahead, go ahead. You know, so they like to say it because Egypt was documented first before the Bible was documented. And no matter, no matter when it was written, it's about the author of that book, that, that, uh, that puppet that wrote it and gave it to those who published it. Whom it was from and whom it was to. Exactly. I seen a video recently where this nigga tried to say that Yahweh Shai, after he turned, after he was 12 years old, he went to Egypt to learn, to learn and then he came back to, you know, say, oh, it starts. Oh, with, with, that, that, that time space. Yeah, time space in between stopped. that, oh, Yahweh Shai went to Egypt he said to learn. The elders of Egypt stopped. Oh, and then they tried to say, I called my son from well, Egypt, out, out of Egypt. Oh, yeah. Niggas, man. Crazy. 
Madness. All those Arabic names, you know, and all of this to try to make them. That's that false philosophy. It's that false philosophy. This shit don't add up. They it sound good. It's like, like we were talking about fast food the other day. It's like fast food. It feel good on the tip of your tongue until you feel all fucked up. Damn, what did I just eat? That wasn't, was that GMO? That wasn't even food. Yeah. Versus this being real nutrients and substance, man, that, that, that stands the test of time from the ancient world all the way to the future. Back in uh, Leviticus 18, and then also somebody get a uh, wisdom of Solomon uh, 12. Leviticus 18 and chapter and uh, verse 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. Yep. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Yep. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Don't walk after their their, their ordinances, meaning their customs. Well. That's what made them who they were. We were to be separate from them. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. In Genesis 9 and 20, And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his, of his father, and told his two brethren without. And I believe... Uh, Canaan was Ham's uh, grandson. Yeah. So the punishment went down through his lineage yeah. to his grandson that we got his grandson's name. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backwards. And hey, that was a chess move by the Most High, putting us in the midst of all them dark skinned people. Because yeah. it would begin to benefit us later on throughout history. You got it? And covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward. They saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Curse be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brother. That's a man right there. That's a real man spirit that would even curse his own son because his son was wicked. You know what? Curse be my own son, my youngest born son. I ain't no simp ass soft dude. But he don't know. He don't know that soft ass spirit that's going around the earth now. And he was like, curse my own son for, for doing this level of wickedness. Because you know they knew. He knew to do right. Just like uh, Cain. Just like Cain knew to do right. Because they like to say, well, the law was oral, man. He, he knew it. And, you know, he knew it without it being written. It was yeah. You know, oral. And how do we know that they knew it? Why did why did uh, Shem and uh, Jeffy go behind and put the cloth on? Yeah. Cause they knew, so you know what that nigga knew, man. Abraham, I mean, uh, uh, Noah, he was a man approved of the Most High. You're not approved if you're not working in the spirit of the Most High. Yeah, he yeah. was chosen out of all the people to yeah. build the ark. It is. Yeah. To survive yeah. the whole uh, first death. You got it. And he said, blessed be the Lord Yahweh, the Lord power of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant, Yahweh shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. His servant. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, That's go, how we got that land. Go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12. Start at the top. Right? Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 12 at the top. But thy incorruptible spirit is in all things. Therefore chasteneth thou them by little and little that offend you and warneth them by putting them in remembrance wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness, they may believe on thee, O Lord. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land, whom thou hatest. Who is that talking about? Who, who inhabited the holy land before Israel got it? Uh, 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 Abraham. No, 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 no. Canaanites. Um, um, Canaanites. Canaanites. Well, that's what that's going into. And remember, we had to before we was in the wilderness first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we was uh, through Joshua. Right. going to make war with those Canaanites yeah. and clear their ass yeah, out. They, and right. their covenant, and he told right. he told them, 
don't when you go in there, do not make no covenant with them. Don't right, make right. no agreement, right. agreement with them. Don't give your sons over to their daughters. Neither take their daughters to your sons. They destroy their idols too. And destroy all their images, their idols. Get rid of all that shit. There was a reason why. All right, go ahead. This is um three. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land. Right. Thou hatest for doing most odious, odious, yeah. odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices, right? Because that's what they're performing in the land. And that's why you may have um, Esau and the rest of these nations doing those same acts of Right. That's all from the land of Canaan. Right? They got all this, all that shit, all these rituals that they do. Blood sacrifices, they all get that from the Canaanites. Right? Esau secretly worships Ham, man. Because all his influences is through Ham. You know? This is, um, fine. And also those big, uh, and also, also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of man's flesh and feast for blood. Spirit, bro. Drink cold. That's the they was doing that back then. Yeah. You see? We weren't supposed to, that's why the Lord, going back to Leviticus 18, you shall not do of, of the doings of the land of uh, Egypt and the land of Canaan. Go ahead. With their priests out of the midst of their idolatrous group, and the parents that killed with their own hands, souls destined to prevail. Yeah, it was, you know, sacrificing their blood. Uh, putting their children through the fire to, to mold it. They was doing all type of uh, ritualistic sacrifices, man. They was getting, that was how they used to get initiated, you know? They had little cults even back then. Ham got down like that, man. Go ahead. Um, since that the land which thou esteemed this. And guess what? They did all these things because of the idols that they served. All his behavior was influenced by idol worship. Those crazy ass mythologies that you hear them niggas uh, 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 talk about. You know? That's what influenced that behavior. That's why the scriptures talk about when you uh, worship an idol, it defiles you. Yeah. You got more power than a damn idol. The man that, had, that made the idol, it should be said that in right. wisdom. It's like 14, where like 14 yeah. and 15 goes on all that, the whole chapter. Like, the whole chapter. About yeah. idols. It's also one in uh, the book of Isaiah as well, where it talks about how uh, all of these idols are made out of the, uh, basically the materials that the Lord made, mm -hmm. and uh, the different craftsmen that craft them, and how they hold no power. Right? Yeah. yeah. This is um, eight, it's like seven. That the land which thou esteemed it above all other might receive a worthy colony of Yahweh's children. Nevertheless, even those thou sparedest as men and did send wasps, forerunners of thine host, to destroy them little by little. He said, hey, he, killed, he sent them killer hornets. Yeah. The murder hornets. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the murder hornets. Yeah. He, he said that on He said he saw. He said he, he know that's something. Yeah. It says, not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of righteousness in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with one rough word. Yeah, the Lord could have had wild beasts come and wipe them out. But the Lord wanted to give the, Israel a simple in, in instruction. And he really did that to test our people. Because yeah, it was all about obedience. Because yeah. when Joshua and them came in there, the most I could have had them wipe out all the Canaanites. Yeah. But he, he kept some there because he knew that it was going to go off. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Get uh, Judges 3 and like read like maybe the last verse of it. This is going to prove what, what, what you just said. Yeah. Judges uh, 3 and like the last verse. Or maybe you can read up a verse above it. This is like the third or fourth time I've seen a 144 pass by. Uh, the second to last verse? Yeah. Okay. Judges.
two. Is it two? No. No, not two. 